What constitutes a crime? A clear and consistent definition has yet to emerge. There are five types of criminal behavior. Crimes against oneself or victimless crimes, such as suicide, abortion, and the consumption of drugs. Crimes against others, such as murder or mugging. Crimes among uh, consenting adults, such as incest in certain countries, homosexuality, euthanasia. Crimes against collectives, such as treason, genocide, or ethnic cleansing. And crimes against the international community and world order, such as executing prisoners of war. The last two categories often interlap and overlap. The Encyclopedia Britannica provides this definition of a crime. The intentional commission of an act usually deemed socially harmful or dangerous and specifically defined prohibited and punishable under criminal law. But who decides what is socially harmful? What about acts committed unintentionally, known as strict liability offenses? How can we establish intention, mens rea, or the guilty mind, beyond the reasonable doubt? A much tighter definition would be the commission of an act punishable under criminal law. A crime is what the law, state law, kinship law, religious law, or any other widely accepted law, says is a crime. Legal systems and texts often conflict. Murderous blood feuds are legitimate according to the 15th century canon, still applicable in large parts of Albania. Killing one's infant daughters and old relatives is socially condoned, though illegal, in India, China, Alaska, and parts of Africa. Genocide may have been legally sanctioned in Germany and Rwanda, but is strictly forbidden under international law. Laws being the outcomes of compromises and power plays, there is only a tenuous connection between justice and morality. Some crimes are categorical imperatives. Helping the Jews in Nazi Germany was a criminal act, and yet a highly moral one. The ethical nature of some crimes depends on circumstances, timing, and cultural context. Murder is vile indeed, but assassinating Saddam Hussein may be morally commendable. Killing an embryo is a crime in some countries, but not so killing a fetus. A status offense is not a criminal act if committed by an adult. Mutilating the body of a live baby is heinous, but this is the essence of Jewish circumcision. In some societies, criminal guilt is collective. All Americans are held blameworthy by the Arab street for the choices and actions of their political leaders. All Jews are accomplices in the crimes of the Zionists, or even in having Jesus crucified.